This video is the third and final video on pancreatitis, and in this video I'm going to talk specifically about pancreatic lipase. Pancreatic lipase is lipase that originates from the pancreas, so in theory it should not arise from the liver or the GI tract. Pancreatic lipase is a leakage enzyme, so um, it does leak a small amount into the blood vessels under um, normal circumstances, and then it is renally excreted. Now we have two methods for measuring pancreatic lipase. The first one is called SNAP-CPL for dogs or SNAP-FPL for cats. Now this is an in-house SNAP test, so you don't have to send out, but there is a send out test and that is called SPEC-CPL for dogs or SPEC-FPL for cats. So now starting out with the, the SNAP test, of course the, the big pro for this test is that it is, is an in-house test so you can get the results within minutes. Um, and the other big pro for this test is that it has a very high sensitivity for pancreatitis. Um, so this is a great screening test for pancreatitis. However, it has a low to moderate specificity. So if you have a positive test, then you would want to run a confirmatory test just to confirm that it is pancreatitis. But if you have a negative test, then that almost completely rules out pancreatitis unless you have a very strong clinical suspicion. So um, the next test, the SPEC-PL, that's the send-out test. Um, it has a slightly lower sensitivity, but the specificity is higher. So 80 to 90% specificity if you use the upper cutoff of 400 uh, micrograms per liter. Um, so there can be false positives with e either of these tests. Um, most commonly, you can see it in dogs with Cushing's disease or hyperadrenocorticism, um, but also you can see it in animals with a hepatopathy or renal failure. So that is pretty much it for pancreatic lipase. We have two methods for measuring it, SNAP-PL and SPEC-PL. SNAP is the in-house test, SPEC is the send-out test. SNAP has the higher sensitivity, but the SPEC has the higher specificity. And of course, you always want to be aware of false positives, which can occur specifically in dogs with hyperadrenocorticism, hepatopathy, or renal failure.